I apologize, but are you suggesting we destroy the dam around Telior Reservoir to start a flood? The capital city was built on the banks of the Norzelia River. Breaking the dam surrounding Lake Telior upstream will allow us to submerge a majority of the city. Flooding the town will throw their army into disarray, which should allow us to take the place by storm. Lake Telior is a man-made reservoir. You might be able to burst through with a blast crystal. Huet scouted the area earlier and reported seeing very few sentries. Proof enough that this is outside the Archduke's calculations. No. The damage will be too great. The means would not justify the end, Benedict. We cannot afford to lose. I agree with Roland. There is already far too much blood on our hands. Perhaps it's worth speaking with the people and gaining their understanding. Unless we reclaim Glenbrook, it's unlikely they'll understand or support our actions. We must take the capital back and show our strength and resolve first. So that means you stand by Benedict then. If we have a sure shot at winning, we need to take it, no matter the consequences. We can't lose the war. We just can't. Telior Reservoir is the kingdom's water source. The dam was constructed to protect the people from floods. I doubt they would ever forgive us should we choose to destroy it for war. Glenbrook thrives because of that water. And to use it otherwise is inexcusable. Brute strength isn't the only way to reclaim the city. We can strike at night and defeat their commanding officers. There are ways to slip into the castle unseen. If you have used it before, there is a chance it has been sealed off since. There is more than one route. You needn't worry. So you mean not to use the Blast Crystal? No, I do. After we sneak in, we can sink Esfrost's warship. It would close off their escape route. Our first priority should be ensuring the people's safety. We cannot allow them to be taken hostage. It would restrict our options as well. She's got a point. But how do we take the capital back after that? We could use the Blast Crystal to destroy the bridge connecting the town and the castle. The enemies would be stuck within the walls. That would certainly mitigate the damages to the citizens. If we encircle the castle, we could negotiate with them. We could ask them to yield. Free Glenbrook and re-establish the trade between our nations. I am certain we can find a way to make both parties agree. Negotiate? I understand your thoughts and the wishes held therein. Allow me to ask once more. Shall we shatter the dam around Lake Telior and flood the town? Sneak in under the guise of night, sink their ships, and slay their commanding officers? Or destroy the bridge, safeguard the people, and negotiate with the enemy? Fetch the scales. It is time we decide our path.
Saranoa. But... I need a moment to think. Ah. Possibly. I require... My lord. Interesting indeed. I am decided. Perhaps, but if so... I may have to consult the others. Yes, sir. In that... I need time. Hi, lad. Hmm. Tough spot.
It is time to cast our votes. In which strategy do we entrust the future of Glenbrook? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. Even still. I agree wholeheartedly. I'm with you. The scales... The way forward is decided. We infiltrate the castle via the hidden passage and take the enemy by surprise. You will steal into the castle and defeat their commanding officers. I see. So Wolfort chooses to walk a wicked path. That makes you no different than Esfrost. We do not regret the choice we have made. Then it is time to see it done. It may very well be our best chance at victory. I must return to Hyzant and see Minister Kamsel. Next we meet, you will have both of our armies at your backs. You have my thanks. We cannot afford to lose this fight. For Norzelia. I thought this battle was for Glenbrook. This is not a simple struggle for power, Minister Serenoa. The Goddess, the Source, Iron? The War of Thirty Years Ago comes back to haunt us because the old cling to relics of the past. Norzelia needs to be born anew, right now. The people of every nation are searching for a young standard bearer to guide them. A standard bearer? Yes, people like you and me. This war is a fine opportunity for us to show our worth to Norzelia. 